everyone, it's Victoria Rooney and I'm here at Bergen International Film Festival and I'm joined by... Clifford Evan. So can you tell me a little bit about the project that you were involved in? What was your role in it? I am the screenwriter for the, the project is called Delivered, but the script that's here today is the pilot script called Dream Girl. Ooh, so it's a pilot. It's a pilot nice. for, uh, I would call it a, a short series. Okay. Like a 10 to 12 episode series. So you just found out on the way here that you went from nomination to well, what? From official selection to nomination. To nomination. Yeah, okay. So but just by walking like? through that door there. Really? <laughs> so it's just, you just I, found I, out. I met Larry and... You know, and well, actually, I only sent the script in like, like the last day was they were taking wow. scripts, and they, you know, I heard back a day or two later. Oh yeah, yep, you're in. And then I got here and I'm nominated, so it's pretty oh cool. My gosh. Yeah. It's, so how is that feeling? Are you excited? Real good. I was yeah. just yeah, I was just like on the phone at home, and it's like it got nominated. So. Oh my gosh, what a fun moment! So can you tell me, without giving it away, a little bit about the project? Oh, so this is my, my elevator pitch to you? Right. Yeah. yeah, just a little elevator pitch. Okay. Girl does witchcraft on her boyfriend to set him to, to, to rearrange his destiny. Ooh, yes. okay. I like that. That's, that's definitely different. I love it. Okay. So how, like, how do you see the series kind of playing out a little bit? How do I see it playing out? Um, I see it playing out that like tons of people watch it on Netflix. That's, how I, that's yeah, how I see it playing that's out. That's the goal, for sure. Exactly. I love that. Um, I would, I would just love to see because I, I feel like the world is getting ready for it because it's a supernatural thriller, I love it. and it's all about um, like self actualization and being on your proper path rather than yeah. being in the wrong place. He's my protagonist, whose name is Jesse. He's like an extraordinarily gifted artist, nice. and he wants you know he has all these ambitions to be an artist, but he works for a criminal enterprise. For a, for at a pizzeria, it's like so like a gambling ring, yeah. and the owner of the pizzeria is kind of a father figure for him. Nice. So on one hand he's an angel, but on the other hand he's a devil. Yeah, he has a little devil side. I like it. But devil in terms of you know he he loves Jesse, but yeah. he wants so he wants him around, but he kind of knows he's in the wrong place. Right. So there's sort of that whole thing going on. Yeah. So what happens is you know he Jesse meets. He's doing this art, and he actually meets the girl, nice. like in, in the past, and just sort of in passing, he draws a picture of her, and she sort of manifests their, their re relationship. Yeah, they're they're reconvening, and she tells him, "You have to leave. You have to leave that job. It's dangerous." But he's like, he's like my father. He's good to me. He's uh, yeah. And then she leaves and breaks his heart. Okay, so it deals with a lot in there. Heartbreak a little bit. I love that. So what was your inspiration behind actually creating this story? I was talking to a friend of mine, and I, I said to her, you know, nothing in that script is actually from my life, but everything in that script is little teeny pieces of, like a mosaic that I've taken that. from my life. So it's little pieces of you in there. Yeah. That's great. Yeah, like just about everything. But there's, but there's not, except for the fact that I used to work at a pizzeria yeah. when I was in college, I delivered pizzas. Well, that's the story is that I worked for this pizzeria when I was in college and it was two brothers who were gamblers. So they would make pizzas and they would bet on sports. And then one day, one of their bookies murdered the other bookie. And it was, oh in, this, it was in this small town. You like, took inspiration from real life, Yeah, sure. well that for sure. But I never like delivered cash for a gambling yeah. ring or anything like that. You had to elaborate a little for the writing. But it was so scandalous in this little college town that somebody got murdered. And it was, it really, it was really freaky. Yeah, yeah, it was like really freaky. So it was kind of based on a little bit of a true story there. Well, just, just that part of it. Right. You know, the whole part with like yeah. the powerfully psychic witch girl who like yeah. rearranges his destiny and sent, can I curse? If you want to. <laughs> like sends like on this mind fuck of a, of a journey to the truth. Yeah. Because she literally, you know, yeah. she's real, a real powerful being. And oh she my God, I love that. Astral travel and. You know, go out of her body and Ooh. sort of rearrange time. Yeah, the government wants her to work for them. <laughs> Seriously. Yeah, I love a powerful female character for sure. Yeah, and yeah but she, she will only do good. Nice. You know, she says to the government guy, but I know how to do bad. Okay, so she kind of leaves you wanting more. I love it. So have you always wanted to do like Supernatural or? I've always been attracted to it. Okay. Yeah, I've always sort of, you know, I mean with films, with books, things like that, but you know, I've always kind of subscribed to, you know, what Hamlet says, mm -hmm. 
there's more to heaven and earth ratio than is dreamt of yeah. in your philosophies. I sort of subscribe to that. Yeah, so sure. that's, it's to me, it's, it's the most intriguing things Definitely. like in, in our experience. Yeah, so, for sure. Uh, you know, so if I can put it on the page and translate that, translate that yeah. then that's, that's my job. That's I yeah, love that. that. It's the joy too, for sure. For sure. So, can you just tell anybody? Um, do you have any social media like handles that we could follow you on? Or, um, I mean, kind of. I mean, I, I have for other projects because it's just a script now. Right. So I haven't really taken it that way, um, but I do have. I mean, it's Clifford Evan. I'm on LinkedIn for okay, that, perfect. and I'm also. I have other books that I do. Oh, I, nice. I have like this like satirical Christmas series. It's, oh, cool. it's Mrs. Claus Tells All and Cupid's Farewell Christmas. So that's on Instagram if you want to find oh, me definitely. there. Um, and those are real fun. And I'm actually going to be on a podcast next week because the guy who I always go on during Christmas, he's like, Cliff, I want to do Christmas in July. Can we do Mrs. Claus next oh, week? Of course. Yeah. Perfect. So, uh, yeah, it's, it's the written writ I'll be on next week. Nice. Yeah. All right, so we can check you out there. Thank you so much for chatting with me, and good luck. Thanks for, uh, thanks for chatting. Thank you. Okay.